What you guys got another video here for you. This one's been requested by one of my YouTube members. He wants to know how to convert DMG files to ISO images on a Windows based machine. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but all you need to do is download a free program called DMG to Image, or you can download DMG to ISO. They're both on the same website. I will put that in the video description. And then we've got our DMG file here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into my C root directory. So I'm going to open up this and drag these files into my C root directory. Now you can't extract them into there because it won't allow you to do that into the C root directory. So I'm just going to drag these straight in and across and click continue. And that's them files inside there. Now I need to put my uh, C cleaner little program or DMG file. It's only a small little program and I'm going to convert this into an ISO just to show you. He's probably got bigger ISO images. Now once I've done that I need to open up a command prompt. So I'm going to go to start of the alt button, type CMD and then open that up. Now we've got that one open what we need to do is change directory to our C root directory. So I'm just going to go CD C colon backslash and then dot dot and that's going to take me back to my C root directory and now we need to do the uh, conversion so what we need to do is DMG to IMG and that's that one there you can see it there and then we need to do space and we need to do the name of the file in this case it's ccleaner.dmg and then after that we do a space and then we need to put the name of the new file what we want to call .iso. So I'm going to call it ccleaner.iso, like so. Now yours would obviously be different if you've got different um, names of files, so you just change the names and that's how it'll be. Then you push enter and it's converted. Now if that was a bigger file obviously it will take some time uh, to decompress it and turn it into an ISO, but that's as quick as that. So where's that gone? So let's have a look where it's gone. It's actually gone to let me see here my C root directory in the users and then the account and then we need to show hidden files and folders here and then in that data there and then local and then in virtual store that's where it stores them and as you can see that's the actual file there and there's the ISO image it's created so you can actually open this now with any sort of program because it's uh, been decompressed and that's how you convert them into ISO images pretty straightforward really so I hope that helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now